Hello, welcome to unofficial S League uh, podcast. So today we're gonna talk about jerseys. Um, recently saw today that Albirex Negata is selling their jersey for what ninety nine dollars. So layman, any opinions on what you think about the price tag that's been slapped on top of the uh, really expensive jersey? Ninety nine dollars, yeah, a bit expensive, uh. Because I think ninety nine dollars mostly for those uh, what you call that BPL jerseys. Uh, that's the price it took you. Mm, people will pay for supporting overseas clubs. But some of the local fans may be hardcore enough to buy LB Rectors at $99. Okay, la, looking at the designs, actually they look much better than most of the athletic clubs. Okay, what I'm looking at now is a training jersey. Okay, it looks not bad. It looks like um, close to what? Their usual home colors are orange, and the sponsor logo, frankly speaking, is ugly. <laughs> it's, it's just a big patch of iron on with the words red on white. So obviously, they want people to see the brand name, but it's really ugly. One big, it's like a big cluster on the belly. The away kit, okay, this one looks more classy without the big white patch. The brand name is, the words are neatly cut out and iron on. So, yeah, it's a big improvement over the training kit. Okay, looking at the home jersey, yeah, okay, it's similar to the away kit, but I wouldn't pay $99 for it. To me, it's pretty plain. And if you're talking about, okay, interesting jerseys, right? If you look at the national team jersey, Recent years, we have been, we've been getting like uh, plain red jerseys. It, it's very boring. It has no value. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, looking way back in the 90s, uh, the team had really fancy or sometimes really obit looking jerseys. Right? Outlandish. But, yeah, outlandish jerseys. Yeah. And they are pretty much sought after mm, now, as in by by fans of the Singapore team, they are really sought after. The, the, the value is really up there, as in compared to the plain looking, which nobody really wants. Okay, coming coming back to the LB, LBX jerseys. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, okay, I saw that the, the what zebra looking one. Yeah, the zebra one is interesting. Uh, what what it's, what kit is it? Is it supposed uh, to be? it's supposed to be a training kit. That's, it's blue with uh, yellow stripes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that, that's pretty interesting, but uh, it's a pity it's not used as a uh, actual game kit. Mm-hmm. Well, usually the practice for athletic cups is that you know training kits they may use it for other competitions like the Singapore Cup when uh, when, when they're playing against uh, you know other opposition or, or other mm-hmm. countries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, imagine if you're wearing the zebra kit and you're playing by athletic cups, uh, basically you're going you know to get slaughtered. Maybe, uh, maybe maybe you know, Singaporeans. Maybe, but then if if your players can play well, it doesn't matter what they wear. Yeah, considering they're called the white swans, which by itself is a pretty weak animal in my opinion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm I'm looking at a jersey right now. Uh-huh. A very interesting feature. You can see the athletic trophy. Oh, what what logo? Oh, it's, that's the athletic trophy. Oh, I thought it's a World Cup. It looks like a World Cup, but. Yeah, but it's the FC Trophy. And the seven stars above the logo, I have no idea um, why they have seven stars on the logo. I don't know. Because they definitely did not win seven S League championships. Maybe they won something in Japan. I'm not sure. I don't follow J League, so. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 the thing that catch my eye is the brand, Hamo. Hamo, yeah. Uh, uh, they, they sponsored the North Korean team in the really? previous World Cup. Oh, I think so. Okay. Um, yeah, it's similar. The jersey design the, is similar to the North Korean one, I think. Mm-hmm. Slightly similar. And 
looking at his comments on the page, you can actually see this guy. Oh, I can't really read Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this guy is saying, loving the new shirt, guys. One thing though, why, is that, why does it cost $100 when other athlete clubs charge only $30? Tampanese that. Is Tampanese that cheap? Okay, and anyway, uh, up to $60, <coughs> warriors. So what, what do you think? Tamp if Tampanese is selling their sets. Thirty dollars. Where? I would like to know where because it's previously I know they're selling at something like forty nine ninety or something or a bit higher. Mm -hmm. Warriors, Warriors, I, I think they all the while they've been selling around that price or even higher. Mm -hmm. But I think I'll be right. You know, for the last uh, few seasons, they've been. I think this is the market price, right, for the jerseys. But I'm actually interested to know if people who support our Rex. Do they actually buy the jersey? Oh, you'd be surprised. Uh, some fans actually do buy. And, uh, I've seen uh, Japanese fans, I've seen real Japanese uh -huh. sitting in the stands. Yeah, they do buy their jerseys. They do support. But for Singaporeans, uh, maybe, yeah, as I said, maybe hardcore Singaporean supporters of LBRX will buy the jersey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So while we're on the topic of Abirex, um, this season they seem to be fairly, or I wouldn't say weak, but they have changed, you know, quite quite a big chunk of the team. Uh, most of their good players have been either drafted out or they have left or have gone back to Japan. Uh, more recently, Hougang United has snapped out a couple of uh, the, the better players. Uh, Atsushi Shirota is one of them. Um, so. Basically, we're looking at a whole new Obirix team, more or less. And they, I mean, their chairman seems to be very, still very confident about their chances. He's, uh, very confident they can not only retain the SA title, but they can actually retain all four titles they won last year. Um, do you have any comments or opinions about this? From what I know, Obirix does overhaul their team every season or maybe retain one or two players but most of them will just go back to Japan or, or find another club to play with um, they've been get changing whole, the team wholesale but they, they will still do well mm -hmm. it's like people will always write them off uh, oh, they won't do well, they, the team needs to gel but this kind of uh, prediction has been going on for a few seasons people have been predicting that they won't do well, but mm -hmm. in the end, they still do well. Maybe because their skills are better, maybe they're more disciplined, um, maybe they can follow instructions better. Mm -hmm. In most areas, they seem to be better. Mm -hmm. So you cannot write them off even if they change their team wholesale. Mm -hmm. And one very, um, <coughs> very interesting fact about Alvirex in the preseason. Five Friendly games, five wins, five clean sheets. Um, and I, I think this is, although it's preseason, but, but it's pretty impressive because, I mean, they're not playing like second rate teams or, or NFL teams or semi pro teams. They're, they're playing ASIC teams. People, you know, they're playing like Ballester Kausa. Yeah, they're playing Warriors and they're coming away with good results. So I think personally, I myself, I, I definitely, I wouldn't write them off. I mean, there are people who are saying that they might do a Leicester in the S-League, winning the title this season and then finishing in the bottom half in, in, in the following season. But I think for Albirex itself, like you mentioned, um, technically they are better players. Yeah, I think they will, they will still maintain their, their so-called efficiency. I think mm -hmm. they will still do well. Uh, as for the friendlies, I think most of the other S-League clubs are... Uh, Still in preseason mode. Still in preseason mode. Pre -season mode. Mm -hmm. Some come back just came back from holiday mm -hmm. or something like that. Maybe train uh, like in a in a training mode, so they probably not playing at full steam. Mm -hmm. But for the Japanese, I think they put in effort in every game they play. So that will probably explain why they getting the results and keeping clean sheet mm -hmm. in every friendly game. Okay. So while we're on the topic of Albirex, still on Albirex itself, the very first um, opening game of the season, which is uh, Albirex against Tampanese, it's gonna be the first league game, 
and also the first athlete game to be played at the new national stadium. Um, it's also going to be the community shield at the same time as well. So, looking at the squad of Albirex Major Overhaul, and then we're looking at Tampanese, which is basically the men's city of, of Singapore football. What are your predictions? What do you think would be the final score for this season of Fancy a wild guess then I would say maybe a draw, a draw or maybe a slim one goal win for LBRX. You, you think the LBRX will beat the Tampines? Yeah, yes. I think so. Okay. Okay, so still on the topic of jerseys. Now, today, um, today being the day of recording, 17th of February 2017, we see some pictures that are being put up by DPMM and what, what were they thinking? Look at the jerseys. And look at that. I mean, the home jersey is like, I don't know, fire. Is that supposed to be fire or something? Or, and the away jersey is like Republic of Air Force FC. The colors. <laughs> so which is the home, which is the away? I suppose, from what they have posted online, okay, the, 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 the fiery red one with the black. That's supposed to be the home. That's home. And the, the camouflage jersey is supposed to be the away jersey. Well, if they think that that's going to help them, you know, help their players hide themselves on the field, it's not going to work because you're supposed to choose green, not, not green, but it looks like our Air Force um, uniform. Okay, for their home kit, um, the yellow shots don't really match. The, yeah, I agree. They are jerseys, red, red and black, <laughs> but yellow shots is like a day at the beach. Yep, it is. It is. Uh, jerseys can be tacky but uh, there's still somewhere where it's still acceptable but this is like really off the charts it's like to put it bluntly is cannot make it it is cannot make it yeah and it's lotto it's not a you know i don't know some thai brand or some some i think their previous season jersey were jersey were much better yeah i can't really see a thing <laughs> that I like about these two kids. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, that's all I can say about these two kids. Maybe, maybe they'll fare better on the on the pitch. Uh, the players they'll play better on the pitch. I hope. So. I, I don't know, but this we asking me about the jersey only these two. Yeah. Ah, uh, I I won't buy them. It's an acquired taste. Yes, and yeah, quite it is and quite 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 quite. Uh, I'm going to go on record and say this. Uh, you know, back when I was in school, when 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 I supported, uh, you know, my my favorite EPL team. Obviously, I have to save a lot of money to buy the jersey. You know? And when I got my favorite top, I I didn't have enough money to buy shorts. And that's when you will, you will go and look for those shorts that cost uh -huh. you like three pairs for ten dollars. And it's always a mismatch. And this is what the DPFM home kit looks like. So layman, I understand that you are. Well, you're, you're not really uh, a follower of the S League. Uh, of course, we all have our favorite BPL teams. Um, but, you know, as we get older, we, we don't have that much time. We need to spend time with our families and all that. But I, I hope, you know, I'm starting to get you interested in our local league. Um, so, looking at the fixtures, I, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the teams. Oh, totally not familiar. Not familiar at all. Okay. Yeah. So this is uh these are the fixtures for the first round of games. Uh, we just covered Albirex and Tampines, which you predicted that Albirex is gonna come up with a slim victory. Um, the following day on 27 February, we're gonna have Home United. That's mm. the that's the police civil defense team, uh, based in Bishan, and they'll be playing against the Young Lions. Mm -hmm. What do you think would be mm. the score? I've been seeing much of uh, Home United's advertising on social media, mm -hmm. so I think they are pretty, pretty confident. Mm -hmm. But Young Lions, I hear from my friends, uh, is a team of uh, basically fresh meat. So uh, Home United probably walk all over them. Mm -hmm. If you want a score line prediction, maybe or for new. Um, next game. Ah, oh, okay. This is interesting because these two teams are both based. Or oh, well, one is in the northeast, the other one is based in the east. We have Haugang United against Geelong International. So, why 
um, this game is of so much interest to me personally because both teams have really, really strong supporters. Um, Haukang has the Haukang Bulls, Bulls H-O-O-L-S, Haukang only one love. And Gelang International has our guests who are coming later on the show, the Ultra Eagles. Um, it's going to be a noisy affair, I'm sure. And in the off-season, Haukang has been spending big in the market. And recently, they even uh, had the opening press conference, season opening press conference in suits, which is a first for the league. Geelang, well, they have retained most of the squad. Um, they've got a few new foreigners. I think I will go with Geelang. Geelang? Yeah. I think the Ultra Eagles will be very happy with you. Scoreline? Uh, 2 1. 2 1. Yeah, maybe it be a slim, slim one. Up. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, and um, we have one more game that's happening on Tuesday, 28th of February. Uh, this is going to be at the Tuapayo Stadium, where Balestia Khalsa is going to be playing Warriors FC. Um, Balestia, they seem to be relying on a really young squad. Most of the players are former Prime League players, I believe. Um, but they have reinforced the squad with three uh, Myanmarese internationals. Uh, actually, I did ask my Myanmar friends, you know, have you heard about these players? And they're like, yeah, they are, but they're not so, you know, they're not so famous. Except, with the exception of the midfielder, Zaya, Zaya Win. Zaya Win seems to be really popular amongst the, the female Burmese fans, you know. But anyway, this, this guy is a really good passer of the ball. That's what I hear. So, Balestia is, well, I think they, they may not do so well this season. Uh, hopefully, the ASEAN imports will, will be helpful to them. Warriors, well, they are, they've been uh, acquiring a lot of good players, particularly by Haki Kaisan and Shari Isha, who were from, who were playing in JDP2, in the second tier of the Malaysian division. Uh, well, I think, to me, it's a no-brainer, but Layman, maybe you can share with me your thoughts. What do you think? Uh, I think, I, I will, it seems, as you say, Barrister is mostly prime big players and then new, three new imports. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe they need some time to gel or get used to playing at as slick pace. Uh, the Warriors, I think, will probably win this one by two or three goals. Yeah. And Warriors has a really strong uh, strike force as well. Mm. So I think. Who I they think, have? Uh, particularly, I would say, I would feel that the one that. The standout player for Warriors would be Jordan Webb, who was with uh, Haukang for quite a while. I, I think he's been trying to break into the, the young Lions setup or trying to become a naturalized player. Uh, if you don't know him very well, he's he's a very flamboyant player. Uh, he, he plays with a lot of flair and he can dribble really well. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think it may be he may be too much of a handful for, for Balestia. But one thing about Balestia, uh young squad, yes, but the goalkeeper is a really, really good goalkeeper. Uh, I heard their coach is not bad too. Marco. Yeah, yeah Marco. Uh, he, he's, but he's quite uh, really uh, with his tactics. Mm -hmm. mm. So may, maybe the coach and the keeper would, would, would be a thorn in this Warriors side. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about on, on paper, maybe the Warriors would have too much firepower for this game. Okay. Yeah. The unofficial S League board. Choke, ah. <laughs> 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 I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs>